As content production continues to accelerate across the globe, visual effects studios are increasingly turning towards the cloud to keep up with the demand for high quality content. While on-premise render farms are still in heavy use, the scalability and security that the cloud offers provides studios with the tools needed to adapt to today's fast-paced global production skills. Hi guys and welcome to Ask NK. Google and Sony Pictures have just announced the release of a new tool which is called OpenQ and this particular tool is a render manager that has been in production with Sony for about 15 years now and it started out as an in-house tool called Cube 3 and we all know that Sony has a, a very strong history when it comes to uh, producing um, and developing amazing software. They are actually the guys that brought us the Alembic, they are also the guys that made sure that we had the open color IO and also the open shader language which is now integrated into practically every software that we have right now. And partnering with Google to make this open source is also one of those things that I would say is an amazing stuff that has been done. And we all know that Google has actually been around the CG space for a while because as at 2014, they acquired Zinc, which they actually relaunched a year later. And if you don't know what Zinc is, Zinc is an online service that has been made possible by Google so that you can render your stuff. If you're coming from say 3D Studio Max Maya and you're or Cinema 4D or Nuke, or even Houdini, then you can just go online Register with Zinc and then you can start rendering and he has all the, all the supports for like V-Ray, Arnold, Renderman and, and all that stuff. So they are coming into the space with the open queue and I think the open queue would somewhat work with Zinc. I don't know for now, but I think it would work with Zinc. And another thing I think about this not so far off, Amazon actually but uh, Thinkbox software that is responsible for the creation of Deadline. I personally use Deadline when it comes to rendering stuff on a network and it is super smooth. And what I would say is maybe this is another move from Google to actually compete with this company and see what it looks like. I think this week has been a week where companies are actually acquiring other companies or maybe acquiring softwares of other companies and so on and so forth. So if you want to check the video where I talked about Adobe acquiring Allegorhythmic, you can check it there. I'm going to put links in the description and also at the end note. And you can also check the video where I talked about Epic Games acquiring 3D Lateral and Agog as well. Moving on. It's also worth noting that the open queue is particularly targeted towards the VFX company, but it doesn't mean that it's limited to the VFX company. It just means that they have way more room for people coming from the VFX part of the industry. And other things that you might have to know is that is just like every other render manager, the open queue has two type of uh, softwares that it's going to come with. So it's definitely going to have two types of uh, artist application. One is going to be called the Q Summit and the other one is going to be called the Q GUI. So the Q GUI is more like every other kind of GUI that render managers have. So if you've used Backburner before from Autodesk, you would also note that they also have a, a front end where you can manage and check the progress of the work and all that. While the Submit is the one that would actually take your files, drop them in the cloud and get them back from the cloud once it's done or maybe tells you tell you what, what's going on with your file when your file is rendering on other things are uh, it is going to be supported by for now for now it's going to be supported by the various dcc app which simply means they might end up creating a lot of plugins for it but for now they are just supported by maya and nuke and this is the another part that i wish they have way more room for because the only renderers that are presently supported right now when it comes to name checks are Arnold, renderman from pixar and also katana i would strongly wish that they have support for redshift because i am a fan of redshift and these tools are definitely going to exist as part of gcp which is an acronym for google cloud platform one more thing to note is the tool that we're talking about which is the open queue is also built based of industry standard open source technologies like the python the pi side and also the post grease and if you want to get this tool and try it for yourself it is open source like i mentioned before and it's available under apache 2.0 license but the source code and the compiled ones are available for you to download. I'm going to put all the links in the description, but the Google Cloud, just in case you want to check up so many other things that exist on G 
CP. And, and just so you know, this isn't the first time we're seeing an open source render manager. There are other open source render managers like Flamenco and the open render management that exist. So you can go ahead and check them all out. I'm going to put the links in the description and I would like to know what you guys think. Are you going to move from your present render manager? Maybe you're making use of Autodesk Backburner or maybe you're just like me that is still making use of the deadline from Tinkbox. Would you simply switch from those ones and go over to the open queue or would you want the open queue to wait for a while i would like to know what you guys think about this stuff in the comment section below and until i see you guys next time with more updates peace